gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. Today we have an unboxing. Yes, and here we have some goodies. Two random goodies. One goodie is not like the other. The other goodie is not like the other. Uh, they don't relate to each other at all, but they're really cool pieces of my childhood and my nostalgia. So let's go ahead and open it up and show you what's inside. All right, let's crack this open. Here we go. I'm gonna undo the tape up a little bit there. Excited to uh, show you guys what's inside on this one. I, I'm always excited, but if I say it on every video and you're watching that video, you feel good for that particular video. I'm, I'm spreading joy and happiness, even though I might be equally as excited as another video I showed you. Okay, so we got one box here. Oh, got a little bit of dent out. It makes me a little nervous, but I'm not too nervous. Look at this guy. Look at him. It is an elf figure. This is a, a, a big boy. I'm just smelling him. He smells good too. Like, yeah, I think being this old, he wouldn't smell that great. He's got a nice hot oil smell to him. Look at him. His hair's all nice and scraggly at the top. He's in really good look on condition. I had an elf when I was a kid and I might even have been this exact figure. And I remember, you know, as a kid, you get rid of things or things get damaged. I am super excited to have this elf in my collection. He is super cool. He's really clean. Um, and yeah, he's gonna make a great addition just kind of sitting there. Look at, he even got this little, his little signature beauty mark, not, not mole or wart, a beauty mark. This, I don't know how, what that, what this is. This might just, just be an extra. <laughs> what is this? It is a, it's a wall border. <laughs> so we got a teenage uh, mutant ninja turtle wall border and it is old. It was on clearance for $4. I mean, this is vintage wallpaper and this guy, this, Came as a, a, a freebie, so I can't complain about that. So thanks so much for that extra little bit of nostalgia. That I'm sure I'm actually gonna have to find somebody that has a, a, a young person in their life. I mean, I, I would do this myself. I live in an apartment and I think that's probably against the, the lease for me to go ahead and <laughs> add this to that wall. Uh, but I can find somebody with a young adult in that life or a little kid that would like to add that to their walls and I'd be happy to, to get that to them because that would be a cool vintage addition to their de decor. All right, so this actually comes, I believe this is the mailer box that this figure came in. And so that's why there was a, a box within a box. All right. We have, dun, 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 dun. I don't know how I feel about that. these bubble wrappers. I mean, they always come to me safe, so maybe they're really good, but it's just, they seem like they'd be dangerous. So here we have an ultimate, April O'Neil, and if you can see, this has the lenticular, uh, you can hear that little, uh, little scratchy sound, like wicka wicka. Uh, so it's got the lenticular front, so it looks like she's on TV and they're static. Uh, so I'll look at that figure on the back, and then here is the figure itself. So this one I think came out pretty recently, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it depends on when you're watching this video or if I know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's got, uh, she's got a little accessories in here. I think maybe those are pizzas. Plus a couple box of donuts. She's got a purse. She's got a couple different hand gestures and another head. Uh, and th uh, this is part of the, the NECA line of movie, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, mainly from the Secret of the Ooze. Uh, but yeah, this is, um, this is a really cool figure. They make two different versions of this. One is limited and is actually has a badge, like her badge from the movie. And it's like autographed by the actress that played her. Um, I didn't necessarily need that. I was mainly looking at the figure to complete the collection. I honestly can't even tell you the actress's name right now. Um, it's not that I didn't like her in the movie, but she wasn't on my favorite part of it. It was always the, the turtles that were my favorite. So, um, you know, me getting that extra, um, you know, limited edition copy uh, with the autograph was not worth it for me at the time. But happy to have this one in my collection. Again, completing this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA collection is gonna be quite a chore. Some of these are becoming a more rare. Some of them are becoming more expensive. This one I snatched up when I could at a cheaper price because I'm sure it's gonna be going up and up and up as time goes along. Got the wallpaper we can gift or get to some other uh, kid. Are you? Oh, we got this really sweet Alf who's, I don't know, maybe I'll put him on my couch right now. Alf is classic and I remember having Alf plushes when I was a little kid. 
I'm now starting to collect the more recent NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie-based figures. I like the movie-based figures more than the cartoon ones, uh, at least as far as the new NECA stuff goes. And so to get this other piece to add to that collection is really good because I want to have a complete collection of that if I possibly can because I love the design and style of the two movies and it gives me a lot of feels and nostalgia. So anyway, to get two different pieces from two different uh, genres, one television, one movie, one turtle, one weird alien, you know, I mean, it's 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 weird getting both of those in the same box, but it's, it's kind of fun to get them in the same box because it shows you how much nostalgia there was in the 80s and that it's all around us and it can come delivered right to your door. Anyway, thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel. Hopefully you enjoyed these unboxings, the other ones, the animation cells and book reviews and poster looks and all those sorts of things. Like, comment, subscribe, all those sorts of things and we will see you next time right here on the Pop Art Hunter channel.